Hey everybody, welcome to a Kerbal Space Program bonus feature for calculating your own Hohmann transfer orbits between two planets. This is for people who are getting ready to do some interplanetary travel and they want to know the best time to leave whatever planet they're at to reach the destination planet with the least energy possible. Doing so requires what's called a Hohmann transfer orbit or a Hohmann minimum energy transfer orbit. Um, I'm going to show a couple equations on the screen. The first of which is r sub t equals 1 over 2 times the square root of a sub t cubed divided by a sub h cubed. What do all these symbols mean? Well, I'm going to start with one of them. That is going to be a sub h. <clears throat> a sub h is the semi-major axis of your Hohmann transfer orbit. Now, the semi-major axis is simply the average of your periapsis and your apoapsis. You know, add them together, divide by 2. That's your semi-major axis. So in this case, we have in this equation where a sub h equals h sub a plus h sub p over 2. Um, <clears throat> all we need to do is plug in some numbers here for those things. Um, we have the uh, h sub a is the apoapsis. That's the furthest part away from the orbit. Uh, in this case, in our example, we'll be heading to Duna. So since Duna is further away from the sun than Kerbin, we'll plug in Duna's... Um, semi-major axis, which is about 20.7 million kilometers, as h sub a. I'm using my phone in scientific mode. Since my camera's mirrored, um, it'll look backwards on if I show it, but, you know, run along with me if you want to. So Duna's average orbit is 20.7 million kilometers from the sun. We'll plug that in. Minus the, um, the periapsis, which is the closest point to the sun. In this case, that's Kerbin, because we're starting. We're starting at Kerbin and headed out towards Duna. So we subtract um, this semi-major axis for Kerbin, which is 13.6 million kilometers. I'm sorry, we add, gosh dang it, I did it wrong, 20.7 plus 13.6, and I get 34.3, divide that by 2, and we end up with 17.15 million kilometers as our Hohmann transfers semi-major axis. So um, the next step <clears throat> is to store that number away in memory on my phone or whatever, and uh, start working on the rest of this equation. So, in the larger equation, a sub t is the semi-major axis of our target. In this case, it's duna, so it's going to be the same as we had before, 20.7. So if I take 20.7 and divide that by 17.15, I end up with 1.20699 dot 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 dot. Whole bunch of stuff in there. Uh, we take the square root of that. I'm sorry, that's not right. That's not right. I've gotten ahead of myself. So um, we have 20.7, 20.7 cubed, which is 8,869 and some change. Um, and we're going to divide that by um, 17.15 cubed. Bam. And I end up with, <clears throat> in there, 1.75840, lots of stuff, okay? Take the square root of that, which is 1.326, multiply that by 2, which is 2.165, stick that in my memory, and we go 1, divided by memory recall, and I end up with 0 0.377 and some change. So basically what that's saying is that in 0 0.377, or 37.7% of an orbit is uh, that's the percentage of orbit that Duna is going to complete while we're traversing our home and transfer orbit from Kerbin to Duna. If I multiply that by 360 degrees, I get 135 degrees. Um, the problem is if you look on a map, you know, it's well, it's, 100, it's 135 degrees of an orbit that Duna is going to transfer from 
where we start to where we finally meet it at the end. And I'll show you what that means on the actual map um, in Kerbin Space Program, probably in one of the episodes. But oftentimes, if you think of think of a clock, 0 0.377, we're basically leaving Kerbin at 3 o'clock, heading counterclockwise, arriving at Duna at 9 o'clock. And we want to know how much, uh, at what position on the clock does Duna need to be at in order for in order for it to hit nine o'clock at the same time that our ship hits nine o'clock so we take 0 0.377 multiply it by 12 hours on the clock and then we take away three hours because we have it's actually heading over at nine not landing at noon and i end up with 1.524 which is about an hour and a half on the clock so if I go to 130 or 45 degrees, I guess it would be, yeah, it's that way on the camera. <clears throat> if I go to 130, have Duna sit there, I'm over here on Kerbin. By the time I complete my transfer orbit over here, Duna will have moved all the way over there and met us at the same place. So once again, through this equation, H sub A is the point farthest, the, the destination point that's farthest away from the sun for a Kerbin to Duna transfer, that's Duna. H sub P is the planet that's closest to the sun. In this case, that would be Kerbin. That gives you, divide that all by two, that gives you your A sub H. Plug that into the equation above. And once again, plug in your destination uh, in for A sub T. Get the cubes of those, divide them, square root it, multiply it by two, grab that whole thing, toss it under one, and you end up with the ratio of your home and transfer orbit that the target planet is going to complete by the time you reach the destination. Hopefully this will help you guys get your math together <clears throat> on how to calculate these Duna transfer orbits on your own. There are web tools available, which I'm not going to talk about here, that do this kind of stuff for you automatically. But uh, it didn't take me long. If I run through this equation really quick once again, I can just, if I don't make any mistakes doing this here, clear the memory, 20.7 plus. 13.6 gives me 34.3, divide that by 2, that's 17.15, which is my um, which is my semi-major axis of my home and transfer. Now working on the other point, we're going to take 20.7, cube that, divide that by um, 17.15 cubed. 1.75, take the square root of that, multiply that by 2, stick that in memory, go 1, 1, divided by memory recall, and 0 0.377, and running that through on my phone here took maybe a minute or two, and now I know that um, Duna is going to complete 37.7% of an orbit, and if I really want to stick it on a clock, I can multiply that by 12, subtract 3, point three. Nah. Now we made a mistake, 0 0.377 times 12 minus 3, and it's 1.524, which basically says 130. So with this tutorial, you can now calculate your own home and transfer orbits relatively quickly and use them in your interplanetary travels. Thanks for watching my bonus feature. Tune in next time and tune in for the episodes where I start using this stuff. Until then, thanks for watching. Goodbye.